4.6 billion years ago, our sun started to form about two-thirds of the way out on one of the spiral arms of the Milky Way. Our sun is a third-generation star, starting from gaseous clouds and dense nebulae containing many heavy elements. It condensed under the inexorable pressure of gravity until it was hot and dense enough to experience nuclear fusion at its core. As stars go, our sun is an average yellow star. But it is so massive that it contains 99.8% of all the mass in the solar system. Its radiant energy supports almost all life on Earth, and it drives Earth's climate and weather. It is almost 900,000 miles in diameter. It has a core temperature of about 15 million degrees and its surface temperature of about 6,000 degrees. The sun will be fairly stable over the next 5 billion years, at which time it will enter its red giant phase. It will expand enormously so that its outer layers will reach the current orbit of Earth, giving it a diameter of almost 200 million miles. After that, it will live a few billion more years as a white dwarf. Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system. It is only about 3,000 miles in diameter and has a surface that is pockmarked with craters like our own moon. It is the innermost planet and has an elliptical orbit that takes it within 28 million miles of the Sun at its closest approach, and out to 43 million miles at its most distant. It takes Mercury 88 days to orbit the Sun. And figure this out, sports fans. Although it rotates once every 59 days, the day on Mercury is 176 Earth days long. Oh, it doesn't really have a tail. We added the one in the video to make it easier to see and to show its orbit. And although the scale is correct for the size of the Sun relative to Mercury's orbit, we are showing the planet a hundred times larger than it would be if it were to scale as well. Except for the Sun and the Moon, Venus is the brightest object in the sky. And since it is closer to the Sun than we are, it shows phases like the Moon. Shrouded in permanent clouds, Venus rotates on its axis every 243 days, and it rotates backwards from the other planets. It is only slightly smaller than the Earth, and it orbits the Sun every 225 days, at a mean distance of 67 million miles. But its surface is terribly inhospitable, the atmospheric pressure at the surface is 92 times that of the Earth, similar to the pressure a half a mile down underwater. Its temperature is a bombing 900 degrees Fahrenheit. All in all, not a good vacation spot. Our Earth is 8,000 miles in diameter and rotates on its axis, causing sunrise every day. It is the largest of all the planets that have a solid surface, and it possesses an unusually large moon for a planet of its size. Since the moon circles the Earth, we think of the moon's motion as circular. But since the Earth-Moon system revolves around the Sun at about 65,000 miles per hour, the Moon's motion in the solar system isn't much different from our own. At 93 million miles from the Sun, 
the Earth is the third innermost planet and is the only place in the solar system that we know of that has liquid water. Mars is the planet most similar to Earth in terms of habitat. Although smaller than Earth and Venus, it has a thin atmosphere and probably had liquid water on its surface in the past. This attracts our interest and has prompted us to send a plethora of probes. It has two orbiting irregular shaped rocks, graciously called moons, which are probably captured asteroids. A day on Mars lasts about 24 hours, very comparable to our own. The volcano called Olympus Mons, or Mount Olympus, is the highest known mountain in the solar system. It is an extinct volcano and is over three times the height of Mount Everest. Mars is a fourth planet from the Sun and completes its orbit every two Earth years. Jupiter is huge. If it had only been a little larger, it could have become a brown dwarf star circling our sun. It is a gas giant and has no solid surface. Its atmosphere forms bands of poisonous clouds that circle the planet in opposite direction. The giant red spot is a huge storm that has been raging for hundreds of years. Four of its many moons are so large that Galileo spotted them with his primitive telescope in 1610. In addition to moons, all of the gas giants have rings, but Jupiter's rings are so faint they are not visible. The fifth planet out, Jupiter orbits the Sun at a distance of 480 million miles and takes almost 12 years for one complete circuit. Notice the large separation between the orbits of Jupiter and Mars. This is the realm of the asteroid belt. It is the debris of a planet that failed to form because of Jupiter's gravitational influence. Saturn is the second largest of the planets. Only Jupiter is larger. Like all the gas giants, it has a system of rings. And the rings of Saturn are glorious. Like Jupiter, Saturn also has dozens of moons. And one of them is particularly notable. Titan is the second largest moon in the solar system. And it possesses an atmosphere remarkably like Earth's. It is primarily composed of water, ice, and rocky material. It is even possible that under the clouds and surface ice, Titan has liquid water and maybe even microbial life. It is 50% larger in diameter than our own moon and 80% more massive. Saturn takes 29 years to orbit the Sun and does so at a distance of 890 million miles. Uranus rolls on its side. 
It is an icy giant of a planet, the third largest in the system. Like the other giants, Uranus has a ring system and numerous moons. It is the seventh planet out and it orbits the Sun at a distance of 1.9 billion miles. A year on Uranus lasts 84 Earth years. Because of its extreme axial tilt, seasons on Uranus are worth a look. At the time near the solstice, one pole continually faces the Sun, while the other faces away. Only a narrow strip near the equator experiences Uranus's 17-hour day. At the other side of Uranus's orbit, the orientation of the poles is reversed, so each pole gets 42 years of continuous day, followed by a 42-year night. Okay, let's head to a point high over the ecliptic, so we can see the relative sizes of the orbits of the sunward planets. Neptune is a blue world. It is the smallest of the giant planets in our system, but still 30,000 miles in diameter. Since the demotion of Pluto, it is the furthest planet from the Sun. Neptune's rings are very faint, and of its 13 moons, only Triton is massive enough to be round. It rotates every 16 hours and orbits the Sun every 165 years at a distance of 2.8 billion miles. Pluto is now deemed a dwarf planet and a member of the Kuiper Belt. The Kuiper Belt is a region of the solar system that extends just beyond the orbit of Neptune, at about 2.8 billion miles out to about 5 billion miles. Like the asteroid belt, it is crammed with many small bodies orbiting the Sun, most of which are frozen methane, ammonia, and water. Here's a size comparison. Earth, Ganymede, Titan, our moon, and several bodies from the Kuiper Belt. Currently, the largest known Kuiper Belt bodies are Eris, Pluto, Sedna, and many more without formal names like FY9 and EL61.